Today's paper is Overfeed, Integrated Recognition, Localization, and Detection Using Convolutional Networks. The method explores three well-known vision tasks using a single framework. These are classification, localization, and detection. The main point of the paper is that training convolutional network on these three tasks can boost the overall accuracy. First, let's take a look into the classification network used in the paper. There are fast and accurate model versions. The left shows the architecture of the fast model, and the table on the right shows the architecture of the accurate model. Both of the models are based on AlexNet, and the main difference between the two models are the filter size. Fast version uses a larger filter size and stride value resulting to a smaller feature map compared to the feature maps used in the accurate model. We can think of this like in a way that the fast model skims through an image to make fast predictions, and the accurate model takes a closer look into an image to make careful predictions. When training the classification network, for each image sample, five random crops and horizontal flips are made to produce 10 augmented samples per image. Also, a multi-scale classification technique is proposed by the authors. Originally, subsampling ratio of the network is 36, meaning a single pixel in the extracted feature map covers 36 by 36 receptive build in an image. This coarse representation decreases network performance because the network windows are not well aligned with the objects in an image. To better align the network window and the object, as shown in the figure, the authors apply the last subsampling operation at every offset, yielding a total subsampling ratio of 12 instead of 36. From the trained classification model, the authors replace the classification head to the regression network. Now, instead of identifying the class of an image, the model predicts bounding boxes at each spatial location and scale. Looking more closely into the regression head, it's composed of two fully connected layers to produce four channel outputs, where the output represents top, left, bottom, and right box coordinates. While training the regression head, feature extraction layers from 1 to 5 are fixed, and the weights in the regression head are only updated. Only positive samples are used for training. The box samples are considered positive only if the intersection of a union between the predicted box and ground truth box is greater than 0.5. Now, detector training is similar to classification training, but it's in a spatial manner. The main difference is that the network is now able to predict background classes where no object is present in the region. When training the network, Instead of using random negative samples, interesting patch regions with no objects are selected per image. This is computationally expensive, but it produces better results. Now, let's look at the results. The figure shows the overfeed detection performance on ILS VRC 12 and 13 test set. On the left is the error rate. We can observe that the overfeed achieves top 5 error rate of 29.9, which is significantly lower than other methods on the table. On the right is the evaluation of ILS VRC 13 dataset using mean average precision metric. Overfeed with an asterisk denotes that the model was pre trained using ILS VRC 12 classification dataset. At this time, overfeed network achieved state of the art performance of 24.3, which was about 2% greater than the UVA method. Lastly, here are some qualitative results. The left column shows the prediction results of the overfeed network, and on the right column is the ground truth. The image at the bottom illustrates higher difficulty because it contains many small objects while the classification and localization training set typically contain a single large object.
Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.